Hi guys, today we're gonna make paper pinwheels. This is a really fun, easy project, and I think most of us have made them at some time or another in our life, but just a little refresher course and maybe some little extra tips and ideas that how you can change yours. So, stay tuned. Okay, so the number one thing you need to remember with pinwheels is you need a, um, a square. So if you wanna do teeny tiny ones, you could use a two or four inch square. These are eight and a half by eight and a half inch squares, and I'm just gonna use this plain colored paper just to show you what you need to visualize when you are doing them. So from corner to corner, I'm gonna draw a line, maybe. And then draw another line. Usually I just eyeball it, but I really want you to see what I'm doing. So we will just draw it on this one. And this is where you're gonna get started. What I do next then is, I am going to uh, punch just a small circle. And this just reinforces uh, your pinwheel. And I cut it out of cardstock, and it, this one was just a one, one inch circle for this eight and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just gonna glue it in to the center. And this is a guide for where you're going to cut. So what you're gonna do is cut from here to the circle, here to the circle, here to the circle, and here to the circle. So now I'm using a double-sided color sheet. Here's one side, here's the other side. So I just eyeballed where the center was glued down my little circle and then just cut from the corner to the circle. Now the next important part of this is you have to decide, do you want the right or the left side for your hole? I usually just always go to the left side. So if you can see here, I'm gonna go up probably about a half inch or so and just use a little a pokey tool or a little awl and on the left side of each triangle and you need to make sure it's on the same side of each one. So if you're gonna do the right, you gotta do the right on each one. If you're gonna do the left, you need to do the left on each one. And then what you're going to do is do one in the center of your circle. So after you've punched all your holes in the corners, what you're gonna do is find a brad to hold it all together. You can use a teeny tiny one if you're doing really little pinwheels or bigger ones, if you're doing a bigger pinwheel. So what you gotta remember is bring the bottom side up and I'm gonna put my bread through it this way and then bring the next corner up and put your brad, the end of your brad through there and then your third corner and then your last corner. And then what you do is the hole that's in the center, you're gonna push your brad down through it. I'm going to turn it over. And open my brad up. And there you go. Now, if you're gonna put this through a straw or something else, at this point, you'd make sure you had a little hole in your straw and you would have pushed this through your straw also. So you can do all different sizes, all different types. You can stamp them, you can use double-sided paper, just whatever you would like, depending on the occasion. On these ones, I did little four-inch ones, and then I did two-inch ones. And I attached them on top of each other, putting the brad through both sets at the same time, and then closing them off in the back. You could add these to little presents or gifts or straws. They'd just be adorable. Now I also wanted to show off some of my new IOD stamps. So what I did is I just took the um, white cardstock and I stamped one stamp on one side and then another stamp on the other side so it shows off both. So if I wanted to show off all my stamps, I could do all my papers with all the different stamps and it would show off all the different designs that I have. And if not, just use a fun double-sided paper and do the same thing. Just have fun. Okay guys, if you like any of the, these ideas and you want me to do more, make sure you subscribe and keep watching. Thanks.